on Libra's the scale. Welcome to Lover's Lane. I'm Miss Kelly. So, Libra. <laughs> I'm a Libra sun, and we do. We, us air signs. I'm a Gemini. Okay, so this queen of wands. So clearly you are dealing with a fire sign who has a lot of options and sell you a lot of illusions. <laughs> Libra. First, thank you guys for stopping by the channel. Please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell. If you are new, welcome. Please hit this uh, like, share, subscribe button and hit the notification bell as well. Um, as I am trying to grow our channel and if you vibe with these messages, please do. It helps the channel out and it helps me to continue to be able to post. So, Libra, you're not holding your vision. Your commitment is being tested right now. And you're not staying focused on what you're supposed to be focused on. And I feel like that is supposed to be you. I feel like your focus is on this Queen of Wands. Why? Because even though this person comes off very deceptive, um, you feel like there's a lot of things that's going on. I feel like a lot of times you feel like things are very one-sided when it comes to you all's relationship. And again, look at this. Discover yourself again take the lessons that you need to take and stop chasing yes you find this person very sexy seductive and i feel like every time you try to walk away from this person they entice you and you you go right back but all in all you know what it is that you really need to do so then look at this This feminine is in the reverse. This feminine energy is in the reverse. You have Treasure Island in the reverse. So as long as you are entertaining and indulging in this situation, you're not going to be able to move forward and flourish in abundance the way that you would be able to if you let this go. Um, I feel like this person could have very toxic behavior. And girlfriend wanted to come out here twice. So we won't leave her where she is. Okay. Yeah. Whoever it is, she's bossy. She's right up in your face. Like, <laughs> yeah. Look at this. And you refuse to let this tower fall. Look at it. Didn't I just say it? You refuse to let it go. And you know you need to let it go. Ooh, Spurs. Hey, yeah. We going. Because you have a lot of love for this person. You're coming up as the king of cups. You have a lot of love for this person. But I feel like you're trying to hold back. Um, you may feel like you may not have enough money. So you may be trying to save up your money. In hopes that, you know, things will get better as, you know, your finances get better. But, oh, no, Libra. And I was getting ready to say Leo. So you definitely could be dealing with a Leo. So deception. Let's see what this is about. Deception. Hmm. So a cycle has ended. So you might have decided to go ahead and tell this person, look, you either stuck cut the bullshit or I'm out. Um I feel like you did at some point start putting your foot down. With this world card being here. Yeah, let's see. Yeah, but you're not planning. You're not planning. You're not saying things clearly. You're being guided by a lot of illusions. Um, I feel like this person may not be stable. Um, they sell you a lot of illusions. They play a lot of mind games. Yeah, and they keep you waiting. <laughs> They keep you waiting while they have plenty of options. So, I mean, <laughs> Libra, come on now. Air signs. We, 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 and I ain't gonna lie to you. I know we love hard. You know what I'm saying? Like, especially when it's someone that we are really, really attracted to. 
you know um but spirit is telling you to observe because what you're seeing is all that glitters ain't all that's all that glitters ain't gold it looks really good on the outside it may make you feel good sexually but what is that inside like you know what i'm saying like what what is that inside like what is that person's heart like? What you know? Are they do they treat you fairly? Are they um, you know? Are they honest with you? Because with deception being here, clearly not. Like, does this person be honest with you? I feel like you're very family oriented, um, but I feel like there are some family issues that you need to be working on. So that could be a big thing too. And then we had the Queen of Swords, we had the Five of Pentacles, and we had the Two of Swords. So this might be another person, but this at the same time could be you coming up because this is air energy. Um, we have two queens on the board with this king. So Libra, you got two. Hmm. You got two. Ooh, with the empress at the bottom. Wait a minute. You got a lot going on too, Libra. Okay. <laughs> so we have this queen of swords who may feel left out in the cold. They may feel like they're not, you know, that you are not revealing everything to them. Um, I feel like you may feel like this person is not, nur is not that nurturing. Or this is how your person look at you, that you're not that nurturing, but... <laughs> How about this? You came up. Boop. Libra energy. The Empress. Um, this person, this this air, this uh this Queen of Swords, which is Gemini energy. This Queen of Swords uh could have felt left out in the cold. Um and it may be due to you having a child's mother. You might have been with your child's mother, or you may have had someone who was pregnant. Um or this person may have been pregnant. Um, mm. Let's see. Okay, yeah, this Empress say, I'm staying right, cha. So you got a baby mama that ain't trying to go nowhere? I don't, I don't like that baby mother. Child's mother. We don't do baby mama over here. All right. Okay. Let's see. Tell me about this Queen of Wands. I feel like this person has you all in your head. <laughs> With that four of pentacles, this person holds back from you. Um, why is this tower in reverse? Yeah, this person holds a lot of things back from you, I feel like. Like their emotions. Yeah, we got the empress came out again. So, you're, you're not willing to... So, you might have... This person might have been pregnant at some point or might be pregnant now. Tell about the King of Cups. Let's see. Let me get one more for this Empress. And the Empress came out twice, so you may have more than one child's mother as well. Okay, so this is someone that you've been in a long-standing relationship with. So this could be a these could be different scenarios, guys. Um and then we have the seven of cups right here. But you have a lot of options. So, do you believe in polygamy? Or are you just painting a picture that everything is happy at home? But things are really chilly when it comes to the home front. Like winter cold, snow outside, ice outside, like how it was yesterday. What about the King of Cups? King of Cups, please. I got this King of Cups, thank you. Ooh. Queen of Cups in reverse. So. You have a lot of love for this person, but you feel like this person is very emotionally manipulative. Like this person plays on your emotions. You're coming up as well as the King of Pentacles. Or they could be dealing with another person, another with the King of Pentacles. Let's see here. 
Third party situation. Mm. Why is the world card here? Let's see. Yeah, so this person could have had you in a third party or could have you now. But this is your current energy. So, could have you in a third party situation now. World card. We have the two of pentacles and a chariot. So, you're juggling the decision on whether you want to move forward with this queen of wands. Again, with this deception here. Clarifying deception. Mm hmm But you feel like you still you still walking around with your blinders on. You wanna still act like you don't see it. You wanna still act like oh I don't know. Me not know. Yep, look. And this is where you keep ending up at. Are you gonna to commit to this person will commit to yourself. What's more important, Lapa? Alright, let's see what's going on with this. Queen of Swords. Well, that's too many there. Alright. We have the Knight of Swords. And the Page of Pentacles. Mm. Some truth. Mm. So I feel like this uh, Queen of Swords, this person, or this could be you. You know, y'all can have some really harsh communication with each other. Mm -hmm. This world card and the Nine of Cups. So I feel like this person, they may have indulged, overindulged, or they may like to drink, may have some bad habits that you feel like are not ladylike with this yin being in reverse. Oh, yeah. So I feel like you constantly feel left on the cold by this person. You feel like this person is always defensive. Like You feel like this person always, they ready. They just be on go. Like, I'm ready. Whenever you ready, I'm ready. Why are they defensive? Why are the seven of wands here? Thank you. Yeah, queen of pentacles. Okay, hyphen. Because this person feels like that they deserve a high level of commitment. Yeah. With the temperance. To a sword. Could be the Lord of Sayers. But then you have the hangman trying to get a different perspective. What's the two of swords? Why well, leave what I want to see? World call. Oh, so the blind is getting ready to come off in a minute is what Spirit is saying. Yeah. Didn't I just say it? Oh, my God. The blind is getting ready to come off. Came out in the reverse. You ain't going to have no choice but to see it for what it is. You're not going to have any other choice. But to see this situation for what it is. Do I want to clarify anything else? Let me see about this third party situation. Think about this three of pentacles here. This particular deck, the haunted house deck. This three of pentacles is a third party situation. This has nothing to do with teamwork. You see, girlfriend knew. She knows. She knows her place. Her place is solidified. This one right here was hurt. She didn't have a clue of what was going on. You know what I mean? So, yeah. That type of scenario. Hmm. Three of pence, please. Why the three of pence here? Yeah. So, I feel like, yeah, and here you are, King of Swords. I feel like you might be older than this person. This person may communicate with you very immaturely. 
And it, the, I feel like that really, it hurts you by some of the things that this person says to you. Um, wow. Look. Three of Pentacles, two of Wands. I feel like this person has options. They may even tell you they have options. Because like I said, this person, they don't care what they say out of their mouth to you. Yeah. Even though I feel like you know this person has options, you refuse to give up with this Nine of Wands energy. That Seven of Cups, you know this person has options, but you just like, I'm not giving it up. And I feel like that's your pride and ego. Which I'm shocked the devil card ain't came out yet. Why does Libra not want to give up? Why does Libra... I feel like Libra, you're tired of fighting with this person. Um, the truth of the matter is you want to move on. You want to move to calmer waters with this person. But I feel like you just don't know how to do it. Oh, I didn't even see there's another card. Yeah, look at this. Look at this. Your intuition, you're trying to figure out how to move forward to calmer waters with this person. But I feel like at this point, you have a headache. You're just trying to figure out, okay, so how do I fix this? What to do? How do I get this to turn around? How do I get the communication to be better because I feel like the, the big part of it is communication but Spirit is saying you need to leave this situation alone in all honesty I'm just going to keep it a buck so what is Libra clear about and then we're going to move over here to your person that you wanted that you still have faith and hope in this person you got the star card You want to be her king of pentacles. You want to be her stability. You want to grow old with her. You know. Feel like you're hoping for an apology. Didn't I say I felt like that devil was getting ready to come out? Felt like you want an apology, but. Baby. All I can tell you, don't wait on it. <laughs> That's all I can say. This person's not going to apologize. They'll keep it moving. You know, y'all can keep pushing. But they're not going to apologize for any pain they caused you. Sorry, Lisa. So your person says, I'm longing for a part of myself that I am running from. So your person is battling some things within themselves that has nothing to do with you. Um, in the spiritual world, we have a saying, we are all responsible for our own healing. And that's just, you know... Period. Okay, wait a minute. So, making a decision. Yeah, this person is making a decision. And, you know, it's like, with this, with this innocence, it's like that bun along grasshopper, you know. Let's see. Don't wait for me to make you happy. Ooh. Don't wait for me to make you happy. I will come when I find happiness within. So I feel like your person could constantly isolate themselves. Yeah, because they're clinging on some things from the past. They're clinging on to some things from the past that they need to get rid of. And the last card for them is shadow work. So they have a lot of shadow work to do. They have a lot of shadow work. They have a lot of healing. They have a lot to do. Let me go with one more about isolation. Let me have one more for isolation, please. Well, I feel like this person may be now coming aware of their behavior. But like I say, if you're expecting an apology, don't wait on it. Not right now. Maybe later on. Take the one that was one. Yeah. This could be you or them, but I feel like you're exhausted. Um, I feel like you may have like little moments where you just want to be 
you know, lazy, or this person may just want to, you know, you may feel like this person is lazy, or this person may look at you as being lazy. Shadow work, so yeah, this person is going, they, they're trying to go with them. That's what I say. I feel like they're working on themselves. And as you see, in the shadows, working on all these different faces and all these different things, trying to clear that past energy. Because this could be past energy that they're now bringing towards you that you have nothing to do with. Yeah. They want to be more friendly with you. I feel like they're ready to come to calmer waters with you as well. <laughs> tired of feeling like the outsider you want what you envisioned between you and this person and you're not having any understanding of why it's the way that it is right now between you and them you're trying to figure out what's going on but you just keep going with the flow spirit said it's not time for you to just keep going with yep look going with the flow when it comes to this leo because the sharing card, this is the Queen of Wands for this deck. So, you just going with the flow. Whatever this Leo tell you to do, you just going right along with it. And unfortunately, what chain and nothing is, nothing is transforming. It's not going to transform with you going with the flow. Yep, that's all you want to end up with. The burden. And as you see, yeah, the Ten of Wands come out twice. So it's about you figuring out what it is that you really want. Uh, Leo. I don't know why I was going to say Leo again. I you know, I don't know. I was sure they going to say Leo again. That's why I say you must be definitely done with Leo. Hold okay. on. A lot going on here. There's a lot of little people going on here right here. Right here, right here. But it's time for you to discover yourself. Yeah. Discover your beauty. Transmute. But we only get one. I only do one of these. One for the labor. Thank you. Vibes. Ooh. Vibes. Your energy speaks louder than words, so it's important to be cognizant of not only your vibe, but those of your surroundings. If at any point the vibe feels off, grab a crystal, center yourself, and or exit stage left. Hello, Libra. Hello. As we said again, all oh, that glitters ain't gold. And you're trying to make it to the finish line, but is it really worth it? Is it really worth it? Now you're trying to be funny. That's real talk. Is it really worth it? Let's see. <laughs> yes, Libra. Balance. You are justice. You are the scales. And hey, come on, man. Stand in your power. Stand in your power. Let's see. Okay. Force. Life's debt. You may have a karmic debt that you may have to pay off. Routine. So it might be time for you to change up the routine. You know, if this person used to you catering to them, you may need to set some healthy boundaries and balance the scales. You know what I'm saying? You're going to have to set some boundaries. What advice do? You know, like, what do we have for Rebel? And then we get advice and then we out. What does Rebel have to say? 
Don't talk to anyone. Don't look at anyone. You need some fucking time alone, and you know why. Period. We have two more from the rubble. If you have any more rubble. Stop fucking whining. No one wants to listen to that shit. Complaining makes you weak. You have the strength to change your world. So do it. At any point in time, look, you can be coming out with all this blue. Detox. Drink a smoothie in front of that asshole and throw some shit out. Ooh, yes. Believe what you see. Face reality or live in fucking La La Land. Choose bravely. And I'm sorry I'm about to give you this one too. You are giving away your power. You are a badass. Act like it. Alright. Get the advice. What advice we have for Libra. And love, advice you have for Libra, and love spirit, please. Advice you have for Libra. What advice do you have for Libra and love spirit? I don't like saying that my cause, y'all. Advice that we have for Libra and love, please. something or push something that's not meant to be pushed. Do not drink poison. Do not do things you know are bad for you. I don't think spirit can get no more clear than this. Do not drink poison. It's like you putting yourself through this pain and agony and for what? For what? For what? Because at this point, you're doing it to yourself. That's what Spirit is telling you. At this point, you are doing it to yourself. So, that is your message. Thank you so much, Libras, for stopping by the channel. I will see you guys in the next week. Please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Please hit the notification bell in order for to be notified um when we have new postings and new videos um uploaded and as well if you would like to donate to the channel you can find that in the information box below as well as how to book a personal reading i will see you guys in the next read and i wish you guys love wealth and health till the next time peace